Oh, hi there. So, I've noticed that a lot of people don't really seem to understand the basic concept of inflation. So I thought I'd break it down in layman's terms in a really easy to understand way. Now the thing is, I understand that in real life it actually is a lot more complex than this. But I think this analogy is going to be a good way just to get a basic understanding of how inflation works. So check this out. Pretend that there's $10 in the whole world. You have three of those dollars and a rich guy has seven, okay? So you have 30% of the wealth, he has 7% or 70% of the wealth. Now, obviously there is a disparity there, but it's not a crazy disparity. In capitalism, generally, this is kind of the way it's gonna go. And you would think, hey man, if I just get, you know, a few more dollars, I can be pretty close to this guy. Now let's say there's a house, all right? House, there we go. This house, let's say this house costs $1. Now, a very important thing to consider before we move forward is that this house isn't worth $1. This house is actually worth 10% of the economy, okay? It's very important to understand that this house is worth 10%, right? It's worth 10% of 10. So the house is not worth a dollar because it's worth a dollar. It's worth a dollar because $1 is 10% of $10, okay? So in this imaginary, super simplified scenario, one house is worth 10% of the entire market, which is $10, all right? So if you were to buy this house, you would be paying $1. You'd have two left over, which, you know, that's a lot, but it's not so much that's going to bankrupt you. You still have two-thirds of your money left. You still have two bucks, which can buy a lot of stuff, right? And obviously for the rich guy, that's going to be a lot less, okay? So... But now, this rich guy's like, you know what, man? I kind of think there needs to be more money in the economy. Let's print another $10. Let's bring the total market up to $20. Oh, interesting. Okay, but here's the way he sells it to you, okay? This is where they get you with inflation. They said to you, but here's the thing. Do you want another dollar? We're going to give you another dollar. You're going to go up to four whole dollars and see we as human beings who can't really think in the future and we don't really tend to think of things in terms of inflation we go oh my god another dollar that's a 25 percent increase over three dollars i'm gonna have four fucking dollars holy shit now the house is only gonna be worth 25 percent of my entire wealth versus 33% it was before. And of course, he says, okay, well, in order to get this dollar, we're gonna have to print some money. And you're like, okay. He's not telling you though that he's printing $10, right? He gets he gets nine of those $10. So while you get an extra dollar bringing you to four, he actually gets, what is that? He now is at $16. And what happens to the house? See, that's the thing. You said, oh my God, this house, it's only gonna be worth 25% instead of 33%. But the trick is, remember, that 10% is what matters, not the dollar. The house is worth 10% of the market. Well, guess what? He printed 10 more dollars. The market is now at $20, which means the house is now $2. So before, when you were just spending 33% of your wealth to get this house, now you're spending 50% of your wealth to get the house. And that is inflation. And that is why they call inflation a tax on the poor. And of course, 16, well, interesting, before he was spending one seventh of his wealth to buy this house, but now he's only spending one eighth of his wealth to buy the house. So while inflation massively hurt you, even though he gave you that dollar, it actually helped him because now he is technically spending a lesser percentage of his wealth to get this house than he was when he only had $7. But he's not done yet. He wants to print more. In fact, he's gonna print another $10. He says, oh my God, look at how much prices have increased, right? Houses are worth $2 now. We gotta get you more money. <laughs> and you're like, yeah, bro, I need more money. He's like, all right, we can print more. 
we can bring you up to that $5 by printing another 10. Now the economy's up to 30, right? You have five. And now he's like, wait a minute, look at that. You're, get, you're starting to get pretty close to $7 there, aren't you? You're starting to get up there. You're start, You're actually getting, you're getting richer and richer. Of course, you know, he has uh, $25 now. So, because he gave himself the other nine, right? That's the part they never tell you. And of course, the house is now worth $3. <laughs> well, look at that. He gave you more money to help you out. And now to buy that house, you're actually paying closer to like 60% now, give or take. You're paying three-fifths of your money. It was half before. In fact, when the economy was just at $10, you were only paying one-third. And now you're at three-fifths. And of course, oh, look at that. He does it again. And now, but of course, you know, he gives you that dollar. He gives you that dollar, of course. But now he is at 34 and the house is at four. And you can see where this is going. Now you are literally at two thirds. What you were paying before in terms of the ratio of your wealth is now completely inversed, right? Because now you're effectively paying two thirds for the house. And of course, his percentage is just going down. Now, of course, his percentage is going down incrementally, but it's still going down, right? But now something trickier happens. Hmm, what's that, you ask? Well, this rich guy is talking to the realtor. And he's saying, you know what? The realtor is going, man, not as many people are buying houses because it's just so much more expensive these days. I don't know what to do. Like, I can't sell it for under market value. Otherwise, I'm going to lose money, right? And the rich guy is like, well, here's the deal, bro. I have $34. Why don't you just raise the price of the house to $8? And I'll pay it for you. I'll pay it no matter what. I'll pay it, literally. I don't care if it's over market value. I'll pay the money. So why don't you just make that $8? And he's going to pay it. He's going to go right there. Boom. I'm going to pay that $8. Oh, okay. Why not, right? Now, this is actually kind of a real world example. Real world. Wow. Quick sponsor break. It's kind of real, again, holy fuck. This is a real world example if you look at tuition costs, right? Because, and this is not exact numbers by any means, but I actually looked this up a few months ago. And if college tuition actually followed the true model of inflation for the U.S. economy, an entire degree these days would be somewhere around 15 to 25 grand. That's an entire college degree yet a degree these days costs anywhere from 80 to like 150 grand why is that because they are inflating the price because these the rich people basically tell the colleges hey man no matter what happens no matter what you charge we're just going to pay the money okay we're going to give students loans which by the way when people talk about like oh we need to we need college to be free we need the government to give more loans and like you know pay for college well, the reason college is so expensive in the first place is because the government gives guaranteed loans. The colleges know that no matter what happens, they're getting the money because the government's going to pay it. And then it's just on the poor suckers who took out the loans to pay back the fucking government, right? That's exactly what happened with college tuition. If they got rid of all these government subsidies and loans... A college degree, it would be like five grand a year to go to fucking college. And at that point, you could you could literally pay off college by working at fucking McDonald's, bro. Okay? So that's that's why college is so expensive. So I'm using that example here. Basically, they're inflating the price because guess what? Now, oh, look, you suddenly can't afford the house. Can you? Hmm, interesting. Well, don't worry because this rich guy has a plan. He's like, oh, you need $2 to buy the house? Okay. I'll give you $2, but you owe me three in return. So he gives you $2. Now you're at eight, right? He's down to 32, okay? But you owe him three, all right? But here's the thing, you buy the house and you're now down to zero and you still owe him $3. So now, in a way, you're kind of at negative three, right? Because you're in debt now. Now you're in debt, all right? Because 
He gave you that loan. Such a generous loan, by the way. And that's what they ask. Oh my God, look how generous they are. Look how generous they are giving us loans so we can afford the things we need. <laughs> getting us in debt. So now not only do we not have any money, we're actually negative. We're literally, we have 100% negative of what we started with if you just didn't inflate the fucking economy to begin with. But you start working, right? You pay off the loan. You, you know, you give them back. You give them back those $3. You're still at zero, right? Now, oh, look at that. He was at 34. He's now at 35, okay? Now, let's fix that there, okay? I'm going to get rid of that because we are now square with the rich man. Okay, but you're still at zero, so now you lose the house, right? But maybe the market crashed. Oh, look at that. The house value is now down to $6. So you only got $6 in the sale. How did that happen? Maybe you couldn't afford a good realtor. Maybe there was other debts you had to pay off. Maybe the house was damaged. There's other market values. Basically, you could not sell. You made a bad investment based on debt. And now you only got six back. So you're down to $6. He's up to 35. A house is worth six. Now it's worth 100% of your fucking wealth. Even though you just had one and you lost it. And then suddenly, suddenly, guess what happens? Oh no, there's a virus of unknown origin that suddenly hits the whole world. How could this happen? What the fuck? This cat's going away from me, bro. Anyways, so this virus hits the whole world. Now suddenly, oh my God, you lose your job. You can't get any more money. You have to start, you have to start saving. You have to, or start digging into your savings, sorry. And so now, maybe you go down to four bucks, right? Oh, fuck, bro. Oh my God, what the fuck? I'm literally back where I was like fucking 15 years ago. What the fuck am I going to do? And the government's like, oh my God, this, this unprecedented circumstance, here's what we're going to do. We're going to double the economy. They don't sell it that way, though. What they sell it is, we're going to give you $1,200. It's called a stimulus bill. And basically what we're going to do is we're going to print half of the entire fucking currency in one year alone. They're doubling it. It went from 10 to 10 to 10 to 10. Boom! They literally just Doubled that shit, which, by the way, is actually literally what fucking happened in America when uh, the, you know, I'm going to fucking say it, coronavirus happened, okay? You're not supposed to say that on YouTube, but, uh, oh, fuck you. All right, here's the thing. For 80 bucks, but don't worry. They said, oh, here's the thing. We're not going to give you one dollar. We're giving you that stimulus package, bro. We're giving you three whole dollars. You're going up to seven. Oh my God, seven dollars. Oh, meanwhile, they're at 63. <laughs> and meanwhile, since they doubled the economy, a house is now worth 12. Holy fuck. <laughs> and now, you have $7, you can't afford a house, so you have to start renting. That starts taking out a bit, right? You're down to six. Oh no, another month passes by, you're down to five. Meanwhile, he's going up, he's up to 65 now because he's taking all your fucking money, right? And you're down to five dollars. Oh shit, and he's like, oh my God, what we need to do is <laughs> we need to print another $20. We need to get this up to 100, <laughs> but we're gonna give you another $2. We're gonna get you back up to seven. That re you're rich now, remember you're rich because the metric of being rich is $7 based on the first thing. You have $7 now, <laughs> and now we're up to 93. <laughs> and a house, what would a house be? I don't know, let's fuck it. Now the market's out of control. Now a house is 20 bucks. Fuck it, right? <laughs> That's how they make up economy in real life, so I can do it too. <laughs> a house is $20, you have seven, you literally, not even 50, per you literally can't even pay for 50% of a fucking house now. You start going into complete debt. Uh, guess what? You lose your apartment. He takes all of it. He goes to 100 bucks. He's like, oh my God, 
oh my god, you have zero dollars, and then he's like, I'll give you a loan, I'll give you a loan for, let's say, five fucking dollars, okay, five dollars, but you owe me eight, okay, that's, that's eight dollars, now you're like negative three, and you're like, oh my god, what am I gonna do, I'm negative three, he's like, I'll give you another loan, I'll give you another loan this time for ten dollars, okay, but you owe me fifteen, you owe me fifteen dollars now, all right, well, you had negative three, so now you're like, and it just keeps going and going and going, and next thing you know, you're negative forty, oh my god, you're negative forty, and now they're printing more money, I'm, I'm running out of space here, I gotta go over here, oh shit, they're at like two hundred bucks now, they're two hundred dollars, that's the entire economy, you went from ten dollars to two hundred dollars, oh, and now you're at like negative fifty, and he's at like fucking, like fucking two hundred fifty, he has somehow has more money than there is in the fucking economy, you become homeless, bro, you have to start sucking dick for meth, bro, you have to suck dick to get your next cocaine hit, bro, because you're homeless, you're addicted, you ruined your life because you took all these fucking loans, bro, it's called inflation, do you want that, do you want the fucking inflation, bro, no, you don't want inflation, inflation is bullshit, dude,